Howdy y'all, so today I'm going to be making some coffee in order to demonstrate mixtures and the dilution process. Um, I know we all have that chemistry exam four coming up, so all of us are going to be drinking coffee in order to study, I know that. Um, also, it's a really good way to demonstrate what I need to show y'all. So, I have a clean glass, as always, and I have some black coffee. You would think black coffee is a homogeneous mixture since it is mainly made up of water and coffee, but to your surprise, it is actually a heterogeneous mixture. It does contain things, um, terpenoids, which they are called, like um, cafestol, that are not water soluble. So it makes it a heterogeneous mixture. So we're gonna just pour some of this black coffee in this mug. However, however much you want. Now, I personally don't like pure black coffee, not a black coffee drinker, so I take some milk. Milk is also a heterogeneous mixture. It does contain a bunch of things. If you read the actual ingredients, you can tell that it contains a bunch of different things. Um, so then you just pour some of that into there. Now, I kind of like my coffee to be quite diluted. Um, I don't like strong coffee. I don't really like the taste of pure coffee. So I do dilute it quite a bit. Um, see now it's it's lighter in color. The color has changed. Since we are diluting it, we're adding a white base to it. So it's kind of makes it lighter. And it also makes it more opaque um, than it was before. Interesting concept. I'm gonna take some sugar now, which is a compact or compound, my apologies. It's a compound. And I like to pour normally three packets of sugar in there because I do like my coffee sweet. Um, I don't use coffee creamer, more calories. So, you know, we're just going to take this, this sugar and pour our sugar in there. So now we have our sugar. We're going to give it a stir so that way we can, you know, move all those particles around to get it evened out. And there you have go, you have a heterogeneous mixture for coffee and enjoy.